Ah, my friends, a very good morning. Another day, another luck. And just for the case that you think you have a déjà vu or something like that, you don't have. It's really the same location as uh, last week. The only thing I think I overdid it maybe a little bit last week. I think I took a bit too many shots. I mean, I don't want to explain. I got some really fantastic photographs, and some of them are really, uh, really great. And uh, the only thing is, usually I, I prefer to, yeah, to, to uh, work a little bit longer on my compositions, to work a bit deeper into them. And last week, really, the conditions, or well, let's say, the compositions even as fast as they appeared, <laughs> they disappeared already. Some seconds even later. And today, I think it's a bit different. We got already snowfall, so we have, when you look down there, we have a little bit snow there and where. Um, I also hope, uh, when I had a look at the weather maps, I, I think that they will come at a little time window of maybe some minutes, hopefully, something like that. Uh, we get also a little bit of snowfall uh, to get a little bit of atmospheric conditions. And uh, I'm not sure about um, the compositions, <laughs> the same situation like last week, actually. I don't really know what to photograph. I just think, yeah, I, I want to spend this time. I think this time window could, could come in around about maybe two hours, something like that, or two and a half hours, something like that from now. And I think I will look for a possibility, work on just one single composition. And I would say, let's try what's possible today and if it's possible to get a really, really fantastic photograph. Now you might ask yourself, why does he come to the same location as last week? There's so many beautiful locations here in my area. And the thing is really, it's so difficult to predict the first snowfall. I mean, it's not the first, we, we have already some batches there and where, but a half degree more and you get rain instead of snowfall here and the snow will come 50 meters higher up there. And what I want is I want to have patterns, I want to have structures on the ground maybe, on maybe rocks, maybe grasses or something like that. Grasses will be maybe difficult today, I'm not sure about that. Sometimes there are some. And what I'm currently thinking is, I mean, the more beautiful um, place or the more beautiful things were more in that direction. You can't see because of the tree, and also the tree back there. We have that glacier back there, I photographed it last week. And I will show you a photograph right now where you can see it. You also can't see it on that photograph because it was whaled inside of uh, yeah, um, fog and, and uh, mist and so on. And uh, today I think we will get, if we have a little bit of snow, uh, a little bit of rain in the moment, we will get a little bit of snowfall later and this leads to a little bit atmospheric conditions in this direction. It's not all too beautiful back there. We just have this house back there. This is a, a restaurant by the way. Uh, I just think when you have atmospheric conditions and you photograph into nothing. Usually we, we should avoid something like that, it doesn't make sense. Usually we want to, I would tell a story of uh, elements being connected there and where leading to anything, to a vanishing point or so. It is just when you have snowfall and it's uh, maybe some kilometers down there when we photograph from the other side back there. Uh, it could lead to this feeling of, yeah, we photograph into nothing. Uh, there is, uh, what is there? It's, we, we keep this question up to the viewers and this can lead to a really fantastic mood. So I'm just not sure when I, I look back there in the moment, I could, we can't see it now because there are trees in front, but sometimes there and where I can see a, a boulder there, it's just, I fear that I just can't see it from the side. And when we look from, uh, from above, <laughs> we, we can't see it anymore all too much from them. Uh, but anyway, I think I will check out this place and think about uh, a composition from that over the lake towards nothing. <laughs> I think I didn't answer why I came to the same location. It is just 20 minutes from me and it is uh, around about 1000 meter sea level, so it's quite high and I have really good chances to get uh, yeah, snowfall down. <laughs> and yeah, it's also one of the most beautiful places of Austria, <laughs> by the way. So yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> now already here at this place where I thought to find a composition or where I thought to look for a composition. And when I look down there, it looks really promising, I have to say. And there's a path down there. Uh, usually I would go down there, look for a composition and uh, build up the composition and take a photograph. 
but it's winter we have snow coverage i will not do that <laughs> this sounds a little bit uh, weird maybe i will go a little bit more back there and i will come from the other direction because i want to photograph in that direction i think and i don't want to have footprints on the ground and this is the reason so i would say let's head over there and let's have a look Now I'm at the other side of this meadow and uh, the first thing I do now is I have a look at the, at the distant elements, at, at the patterns, at the elements, at the mountains, on the shore and the lake and so on. I just think about uh, yeah, which rough perspective do I prefer. This is the first thing I do. I mean the foreground is really important. I need something really um, fantastic because when we expect to get the atmospheric conditions and I hope so I, I really don't know to be honest but we will, we will work on, on a con uh, composition like that then the foreground elements are so important because uh, this is that what has the most contrast in in your photograph then and uh, um, anyway the first thing I look here now is the distance because um, we will maybe see a little bit of it not all too much maybe we don't know it but I don't want to have it unbalanced the image then Now I came all the way from back there over here because um, when we look back there we have a little, a little bit of atmospheric conditions because the fog rolls already a little bit in the mist and at the left hand side uh, this uh, triangle here with these uh, trees there with this dark trees yeah, it's quite dark and we have a lot of contrast there and I want to avoid that so I, I thought let's come a little bit uh, further here and uh, what I really like here is we have this kind of uh, channel here what goes in here from from this lake so I'm not sure if it's uh, possible to uh, build up a composition we have this kind of uh, curve this nose out there at the shore it looks really fantastic so I think I will look for possibilities here around now uh, but everything really really carefully because of footprints really really that's so important here oh man what a beautiful view out there it is really amazing now the good news is I found the composition and the bad news not even two bad news to be honest. <laughs> so the first bad news is I don't think that we will really get atmospheric conditions. I mean we got a little bit of atmospheric conditions back there. The uh, mist is uh, rolling uh, back here now. It was a little bit more back there. I, I took a shot before. Uh, we don't know what will happen because there is uh, another mist back there. So. Um, we could maybe come away with that. I'm happy with the composition. Yeah, I mean, it was all about uh, catching um, snowflakes and so. I think we have to stay flexible. I think this is one of the most important things in landscape photography. You can plan anything totally in detail, really totally in detail. But in the end of the day, it is all about reality and whatever the weather god <laughs> uh, has planned with us. So this is the one, this is the first bad news. But I, as I already mentioned, I can come away with that. The second bad news is, uh, for the composition I found, um, my focal length is not enough. My 16 to 35 millimeters is not enough. I would need a few more millimeters or less millimeters actually. <laughs> and so maybe some of you have recognized already, I have um, on my website, I have a gear list where I have all my, my uh, lenses, all my cameras, all my stuff, everything I use up there. And for a few weeks now, I also have one more lens there. This is the 12 to 24 millimeters G Master lens of Sony. And I really have to go to 12 millimeters here because I'm that close to the foreground. It is absolutely amazing. Just look down here. Uh, here's my camera position. Don't drop down here. Here's my camera and I'm so close to my foreground. And what I really like here is I have this uh, pattern here given to you to the, the rocks, the, the uh, snow covers the rocks there and where and uh, we have these lines going through there. It leads us a little bit to the right hand side. We have this big boulder here down uh, as, a, as a kind of uh, center object in, in our composition. And uh, we have this fantastic curve going back there of, of the shore. Uh, I don't get in the entire um, shore here, the entire lake here, the left hand side. This is not possible from this uh, uh, pos uh, position here. But anyway, it leads to a fantastic um, line back there, do the distance. We also will get in the restaurant here 
as already mentioned, if we had snowfall here, it would be all about the foreground. We would everything would go into this transition of nothing. But what? Yeah, I really would like to photograph something like that. But it's so difficult to predict. Um, yeah, snowfall. <laughs> I mean. It, it's a difficult to bring snowfall, obviously, but when uh, usually in winter we have so much snow here, um, a meter snow or something like that, and you don't have any contrast, you don't see any rocks, you just see, <laughs> yeah, uh, a little bit higher, a little bit lower snow, and this is where all the rocks are down here, and this would not work, so it's really difficult uh, for that. Um, as the restaurant is that far away, I don't have really a big problem with that. It's a 12 millimeters lens, 12 millimeters on full frame. So that's really, really short. Um, I really have to, to go to 12 millimeters. Uh, I, I tried with uh, 14. I thought maybe it would, it would work already with two more millimeters or two less millimeters. It didn't. I really need 12 millimeters. And to be honest, it's quite difficult to work with such a focal length because you get in so much of the landscape. There's so much to be considered um, and I think I'm working here now around for an hour or maybe even longer on this composition. The time window would be already right now where yeah, we would like to have snow. Uh, we even don't really have precipitation so yeah, a tiny bit of, of, of rain but it would also be not enough for yeah, getting this uh, uh, transition back there when it would be snow. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this composition, I have to say. And uh, I took the shot already, as already mentioned, the mist uh, went over already. It was a little bit more back there. And I would say, I will show the photograph right now. It's a lot of fun to play around with the new lens, isn't it? But for me, it isn't all about um, playing around with my gear, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I enjoy to, to uh, use my new lens, of course. But for me, it is all about getting out the best possible composition. So what I found here now is I found these fantastic boulders here in the foreground. I mean, I found the boulders. It's <laughs> funny because when you look around, there are only boulders around. But um, these are special boulders <laughs> because the foreground, I get a really fantastic foreground pattern here uh, on, the, on, the, on the ground. So also with the shapes of of the uh, rocks, just a little bit of snow going over here, some contrast stand wear, some patches of uh, boulder stand wear. And uh, to the distance, before we had a little bit of uh, atmospheric conditions as well, we have also a, a part of the lake in. Uh, but yeah, it's all about the pattern in the foreground. And this only works here because of these conditions, because not all too much of snow. Um, yeah, as I already mentioned, when there's really deep winter, everything is full of snow and it's impossible to get a photograph like that. I mean, you could get photo, you could get other photographs then, but not, 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 not something like that here. And I really like this. Um, I also like this contrast between the lake and the shore as we have this white bright part outside and this darker part uh, here in the lake. Uh, some mist back there, some atmospheric conditions, uh, also uh, really character also in the sky and I really like this. Um, as I already mentioned, uh, it's uh, not always good just to play around with the new lens. I put up my other lens now, my 16 to 35 millimeters here because 12 millimeters or every, anything below 60 millimeters is, uh, would be too wide here. I would get too much in here or I would have to go too uh, close to my foreground that it doesn't work with my mid-ground then and so on. So here I'm at uh, around about 17 millimeters here, uh, F16. And uh, yeah, I would say, let's make the click.
weather conditions are really not easy here, I have to say. The sun goes up in that direction, we're photographing in that direction. What's difficult, front light actually? Not really, because when we look up there, we have a big softbox up there. Uh, the clouds, obviously. And uh, we photograph in that direction, we get the sky a little bit opening back there. We get uh, the fog rolling in here, what looks really nice, I have to say. We get this contrast everywhere, also in the trees. Also when it's quite far away, you know, I always uh, like to print my image. And uh, yeah, you, when, when you bring big at A2, uh, then it, um, you, you look really close. You see all these details and it just look, looks really, really fantastic. Now, I got attracted by uh, these boulders here in the foreground with this contrast between the white bright snow and this darkness of, of, the, of the stones there. This looks really fantastic. I tried to balance them a little bit. They also pull you a tiny bit in from the left and the right hand side. Uh, do the distance to this big rock here, uh, what uh, leads into this uh, lake. And back there we have this reflection, this brighter part here on the lake. I don't use a polarizer here, I don't want to get the glare down, I want to have the glare. We want to uh, get uh, pulled back there. And yeah, and also the mist now. <laughs> um, rolling in here back there looks so fantastic. It's really amazing. By the way, I mentioned before, it's not all about playing around just with uh, new gear, with the lenses and so on. This is the third lens already I used today. Uh, at first I used my 12 to 24 mm lens, then the 16 to 35 mm lens. This is my 24 to 70 mm lens. And it's not all about just using all my lenses or something like that. It's because I need it here, really here for my composition. I, I, I see my elements, my characters, I try to combine them in my composition. And then I choose for the right focal length for uh, bringing everything together in my composition and this uh, this lens here works really uh, best here in this case so i would say let's make the click What a wonderful morning of landscape photography here in the first snow. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please give me a thumb up and don't forget to tune in next week. There will come a fantastic video as well. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.